Hi, and welcome to Crypto Crazy. I'm Cal, and today I'm going to talk to you about a new coin that I would yesterday called Split. Now, Split is all about ENFTs, that is, e-commerce non-fungible tokens. And I'll go into details about what that actually is and how they're working, well, they hope to be working with Shopify, but they're already in integrated in Shopify. But before we do that, let's just have a look at where it's available at the price and also the market cap as well. So you'll be able to get this on Uniswap, Biloxi, 0x. So it is quite widely available. And as you can see with the price on here, it doesn't show that it's moved, but since it IDO'd, it has shot up quite a bit. Now, as always, we don't always have the market cap here. The maximum supply there is 500 million but if we do have a look at what was uh, within the IDO I mean that's incredible the IDO has from there it's up 85x uh, it's, sometimes it's, it's quite hard to get into them but we can have a look at the market cap and it's 5.74 percent that is the circulating supply of what we have at the moment so have a look the max supply of 500 million Taking that percentage 5.74, multiplying by the price, we can see it currently has a market cap of just fractionally over 100 million. So that could potentially be high for some people, but let me go into detail as to why it is what it is and why it also does have quite a lot of potential to grow as well. So just going into the platform here, split. It says it's a layer two NFT infrastructure to decentralize the e-commerce supply chain. So what does that actually mean? So anything that's off blockchain, all of these things that we would buy through e-commerce, this allows those products, whatever they may be, to be put onto the blockchain. So all of the details are recorded on there and that's why it's called an eNFT. Each one is unique to that product, so it's a non-fungible token. It's not One is not the same as the other. It records all the details about it. It allows better authenticity. It allows detail to be recorded of what's been happening with that product in terms of sales, especially if, they want, if there is to be any resales as well. And it's, it's everything on, on the, the e-commerce sort of chain. So that's, that's what it kind of is, and that, that mentions it here as well. It says it streamlines digital sales and enable lifetime product tracking not previously possible. And that's what I was talking about, the resales as well. And nothing can be misrepresented in that way. And I think the one good thing that I really do like about Split is not only is it integrating with existing platforms like Shopify, it isn't looking to replace, it's looking to work with it. And I think that is what's going to really set it apart as well in terms of uh, other projects that have been trying to do similar sort of things as well. So let's just go into how it all works. And it mentions here that if there is a product, it can be uh, an inventory can be made of all those products and the ENFT is minted. So that is just saying that everything that we have that is off blockchain as products is then put onto the blockchain through these ENFTs by minting them. And it says here, once it's minted, it's broadcasted on the split network. So you can actually, through Shopify, integrate with the split network. And as it says here, it synchronizes, so you can sell everything through that. And it says across marketplaces and affiliates. So you can go onto other marketplaces, you can work with other affiliates, and you can use what Split has as a catalog of products to sell. So that's pretty impressive. You don't have to go out looking for certain products. It's all there. It's already on the blockchain. It's already authenticated as well. EN ENFT escrows. So that's very much protecting the, the counterparty risk. So in some instances, if you might not get paid, uh, th there is always that risk. This makes sure that that payment always does go through and buy a resale. And that's what I was talking about a bit earlier on in terms of it records the purchase history for that product as well. So like it says here, it can't be fraudulently misrepresented. There might be instances where someone may 
not write the correct details about a product and, and so on, but or provide the wrong product as well. We hear many stories about that when someone orders something and they get something which is not quite what they were expecting. This won't allow that to happen. So here it talks about a split user token created registry. It just talks about a bit more detail as to how it works, the smart contracts, the catalog, and so on, about the architecture as well. And again, I'll add these details in the description for this video. So you can look into a bit more detail how it technically works. But here it mentions the Ethereum base layer protocol. It works with Polkadot, it's powered by Polkadot. And then you've got split on top of that as the, the second layer. And, and it works with these e-commerce stores as well. And it's working with some some great brands. And, and here it's got Maison Du, which has a number of brands and it can integrate with that. And as it mentions here, 2000 strong community of brands and e-commerce stores. So all of those products within this third party throughout those 2000 plus brands and stores can be integrated into Split. So you don't have to affiliate with all of these different other stores. So that, that I think is incredible. And here that there's a demonstration of how it works with Shopify. I'll just go into just, just a little bit of detail so you can kind of just Shopify see it actually working. Split. And you see that Split will let you um, acquire tokens or you, know, you can get them yourself. Um, so now uh, we can upload your products to the blockchain. So I'm going to find one product here. I think my stylish summer necklace is going to sell better than anything else. I can click it. I can click multiple if I needed to. I'll click add. It'll tell me how many tokens I need to stake, so it'll deduct it. And if you auto chose, that split will handle your tokens and purchase more tokens on your behalf. It will get more tokens. Now all you gotta do is click upload to the blockchain, and your product will then be available for other affiliate stores within the Shopify network to sell. So what does that mean? Let's see here. This is the split blockchain with all the available inventory. I'm gonna refresh because I just uploaded this item. You see now the stylish summer necklace shows up and the coolest part is you can go to the blockchain and this is within a minute this product is now available on the blockchain for every other affiliate store in the shopify network for that store to sell so here's so there you go that was just a brief just a demonstration of how it gets recorded onto the blockchain and once it's there as it was just about to be shown there you can go through any other affiliate marketplace and you can then include that on there and you have it available to, to integrate. So here it mentions this, just have a quick look at the roadmap, Shopify integration, which I've just showed you, Shopify client. Now that would be massive. If they're working with Shopify as a client, then obviously that is, is much more broader as well. Maison do onboarding as well, like I mentioned, the 2000 plus stores and brands, again, just broadening that horizon and they've got more good things coming up as well in the future but just over these next two quarters some some real big growing as well uh, just having a look at their team uh, they've got a good CEO he has some experience uh, they, they've got quite a, a large team as well sometimes you get these projects which don't they do have quite a few individuals they I mean it doesn't have the the sort of some projects have just absolutely amazing backgrounds these guys have good backgrounds. So it, it's, it's a decent enough team from my perspective, in my opinion. They've got advisors on board as well, which is always great, leveraging that experience and that knowledge. Obviously, they're getting media coverage. And then it goes into these questions and answers. And they, they talk about why decentralization. And I think that is, is great, that it cannot be tampered with. It's on the blockchain as well, it mentions here. But here's something that's interesting. Why non-profit? So these guys are doing it non-profit, which is very interesting. And they believe once, if it were for profit maximization, then that, that does change what the objectives are for that. So that I think is very interesting. It talks about marketplaces. So Split isn't, it, isn't a marketplace itself. It's a marketplace of marketplaces. It allows those marketplaces to exist by incorporating those products in there. Uh, it talks about blockchain, it not being, it being tamper-proof. Tamper you can't corrupt the information once it's recorded, it's there. 
Uh, it talks about why it's sim dissimilar to other projects as well, and, and and I think it just goes to show why it's it is it's the fact that it's integrating, it's working with the companies that are already out there, and I think that's the best way to see it. If there are already shops out there, for, for example, before the internet, bricks and mortar, the internet allowed it to do something a little different or very different, let's say. And this blockchain technology will allow that e-commerce to enhance even further and do something a little bit different as well. And again, why now? It's talking about obviously the ready now, and 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 I think the the adoption of cryptocurrency as well. It says on the surface, the USA only officially recognized cryptocurrency in 2020. So it's a great time to be doing it. I think they they have, as I mentioned, some great partners involved uh they're working with it in a way that they're integrated with current businesses as well i think it it's it's a real game changer because blockchain essentially is something that's not allowing any sort of corruption of the data there's nothing that can be misrepresented whether you're buying reselling it allows it to have a central inventory this catalog that can be used throughout a number of different platforms so i think overall it's just doing a, a great thing and i think it has a long way to go especially when it becomes more and more adopted and in terms of a practical use if you did want to set up a, a shopify store you could go to split and get your product inventory through there that you could then be sending drop shipping out to whoever buys through there so it's you wouldn't know that it's the the technology being used but it will provide all of these benefits that i mentioned as well so there you have it that's split again as always if you have any questions do ask me in the comments below i always do try to as much answer as much as possible if i don't know the answer i try my best to find out the best that i can so if you have enjoyed that if you have liked that video please do give me a like. It does help the channel. It's growing pretty fast and I do appreciate the support from everyone. It has grown a lot faster than I expected. So hopefully that's a that represents the value that I am able to bring to you. And if you do enjoy that, please do subscribe as well. So there you have it. That's Split. I've been Cal. This is Crypto Crazy and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.